So back at it, 2023, first video of 2023. It's going to be a relatively simple and short video. It's going to be the installation for the Theta Sandman S Chemo on our 300 Blackout. bench um, first thing we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and take off the uh, VG6 Epsilon right so let me back up a little bit so what we're installing today we're installing the uh, Dead Air Sandman S Chemo um, nice break uh, you've seen this. It's on some of my other uh, AR, the uh, 7.5 inch or 7.75 inch uh, 308 build that I did. Um, we're going to put it on a 300 blackout. I have this on a couple of others, but I've never filmed the video uh, installing it. So I'm just going to install it on this. Uh, so we'll take this off gonna need a armor's wrench you could take it off with a regular wrench but we're gonna use uh, the armor's wrench since we have the right tools for the job so you can see that was relatively simple this is my eight and a half inch 300 blackout baby blue you've seen this in previous videos I love this uh, setup this is a pre-covid Maybe not pre-COVID. This was right when COVID started. Uh, build that I did. Anyway, um, just to give you an idea of what I had on it. I don't know if that's focusing, but it is the VG6 Epsilon 762. If you can see that. Let's see if we can focus. If not, it's all right. But I love this because it is a... Uh, it's not just a brake, but it is a flash hider. So you'll see your three baffles right here. One, two, three, you got your ports coming out the top, keep it level. Then you have your prongs, uh, your flash hider, um, to go ahead and mitigate that flash. So I love this. Uh, I have it on a, another rifle. I'll probably be, um, probably be, uh, well, Putting it on another one, another build, it depends. Um, I'd, I'd prefer to have the, the chemo on all of my rifles uh, simply because, you know, I'll be dropping suppressors on all of them. Or I would like it to. I think that I have a million suppressors. I don't. <laughs> and this is why you get a multi can. You get a multi can so you can go ahead and have uh, suppressors on them multiple firearms. Uh, this is the Dead, Dead Air Sandman S. It's a 30 cal can. Uh, can. You could drop this. You could shoot uh, up to 6, six five Creedmoor uh, on that. Uh, 300 Blackout, 6.5 Creedmoor. If you change out the end cap on here, you can shoot 5.56223. Um, you know, it's just, it's just super versatile. Uh, one of the industry's um, preferred cans. I mean, there's plenty more, but this is what I got. All right, so you have your dead air, your chemo. Um, basically, we're going to go ahead and install this. We're going to time it. Make sure these three ports that you see here 
are uh, level and faced on top. Um, easiest way that I find to do it, I just go ahead and screw on until we get to a point where we can see where those ports are facing. So this is this is uh, way off, right? So what we do, well, what I've what I've seen on the internet and I've done in the past is I've uh, backed it off, right, to see where it lands right there. You'll see. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but a little grip there, a little space there, a little gap. Um, we have these shims. Um, so these shims and these shims are a little bit different, right? Both of them are from Dead Air. Uh, these shims come with the suppressor, and they all have notches in them. Uh, let me see if I can show you the notches real quick, just a second. They all have notches. This one has two notches. I believe the two notch is the flimsiest one. Uh, we'll put this to the side. Let's find one with one notch. Oh no, the one notch is the flimsiest one. This one has one notch. So you can see that. And then there's one in here, if I haven't used it, that has no notches. This is the thickest. And you'll you'll see that here. So basically what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, figure out how many of these shims are needed in the way I do it. And where we're going to, where we're gonna land when we back it off. Obviously that's not enough, so we grab another one. This is a two notch and a one notch. Then we just uh, slip it into that gap. Still have a lot of play. Uh, what's this? One notch. This is three shims. Now drop it in. Nope. Oh, just lost one. <clears throat> All right. Now I get another one. Drop it in. See where it lands. Uh, let's try one more. One more. One notch. And see how that works out for us. Alright, so that kind of. Kind of works out. Let me see, this one is too thick. Thick. Let's try one more. Oh yeah, all right. So that's in there pretty good. We're gonna back this off. And listen, this is a uh, trial and error. <laughs> you know, get it, get it right as best as you can. Back that off. We'll take this, this stack, it's four shims, slides right on. And then we'll go ahead and get it back on. See where this lands. So this is perfect right here. That works for me. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to tighten it down. We're using uh, Quinn. This is already set to 35.8. I'll do 36. Uh, the recommended torque is uh, 35 to 40. Uh, so you got your chin there. Pop it in. Let me go ahead and grab your armor's wrench and uh, 
Get it on there. I'm gonna grab this. Well, let me put it closer to the edge. Well, let me do this, make it easier for me. There we go. Grab it to the edge, lock us in. Now, still haven't broke it, and add another shim in there. Clearly, we need about a, and this is going to happen a couple of times. I might speed up this video. So this is a thicker one here. Uh, we'll drop two thicker ones on there. And then we'll uh, go ahead and put this back on. Let's see where it lands. I mean, if you've done this before, you know it's a uh, it's a thing. <laughs> All right. So I think this. I think that's going to do it. To the edge. Power that on. We're basically going to keep going. You want to you watch where your, uh, your foot pounds are. And you want to There you go. You heard that beep. So that beep lets you know that you're at 35.8. Line it up. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a look from the top. See if it's lined up. Tug. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. Mm. One more good tug. Now, don't get me wrong, I'll be taking this back off because what I want to do, and you don't need to, and I may not, uh, lock tight it. In fact, I'm probably not going to. You want to make sure that it's cranked down nice and tight. Um, you don't want anything walking loose. Uh, that will cause a baffle strike and it's <laughs> something you don't want. All right, so that's that's it. That's your, that's your uh, chemo mount install. It, uh, Clears the light. You know, debris uh, fogging up your light. I thought I had to take this off, but I didn't. I just cranked it down here. I mean, usually it would be back here, but this is fine. Um, but that's it. We're installed. All right. Uh, thanks for checking it out. I'll roll some footage in, and we'll go from there. We outside, fam. We outside.